Okay, we'll have a moment of silent meditation and pledge to the flag. Call this meeting of the Montague County Commission to order. Let the record reflect that all three commissioners are present. First item on the agenda is consent and approval with our county administrator, Renetta McClure. Good morning, Renetta. Good morning. Good morning. We have 13 exonerations for $4,528.48, minutes for February 21st, 2024, and the Board of Review and Equalization for February 20th, 2024. Vouchers General County. 54,292.55, Cole Severance 6,330, 911-321.35, Chestnut Ridge Park 1,172.09, Camp Muffley 1,531.14, Mason Dixon Park 769.69, Mon County Center 3,108.16, Recreation Levy 1,258.05, Payroll 1,044,325.22. 1 Purchasing card vouchers. General County 15,957.65. 911 $220.26. Home confinement $5,769.46. Mason Dixon Park 124.33. Mon County Center $300.64. Assessor's valuation, 9684 for a voucher total of 1,135,577.43. We have no budget revisions. Position vacancies for boards and authorities are listed on our website and fiduciary orders for February 28, 2024. I have a motion to approve the consent and approval agenda items as presented. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. No other fiduciary items. No, okay. Uh, introduction of new employees and personnel changes. None. We have none. Okay. Comments from the public. We will now open the comments from the public session of the meeting. Anybody wishing to be heard, please raise your hand, come forward, and for the record, say your name and address, and be heard. Morning. Morning. Morning, Commissioners. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm Ryan White. Uh, I'm uh, from Kanawha County. I'm uh, running for the uh, Intermediate Court of Appeals. And uh, I'd like to come to thank the uh, County Commission for their service and uh, being the economic engine of the uh, county. Um, I'd like to give a couple of uh, uh, tidbits about myself and my run for the Intermediate Court of Appeals, which is a newly created court about three years ago. Um, which is between the uh, circuit court and the uh, Supreme Court. Uh, I've graduated from the West Virginia University College of Law in uh, 2005, and I've been practicing for 18 years. I clerked for Judge Goodwin down in the Southern District of West Virginia. I uh, went to Jackson Kelly for six years, worked for them, um, and then uh, while I was there, I uh, worked for the West Virginia Legislature, West Virginia Senate Finance Committee. I was counsel to them for three years. Um, I then started a law firm, White Law Offices, with my uh, father, and uh, I've been practicing there since. I've been elected to the school board for three terms. I was on the school board for 10 years. Um, it's been a quite a challenging time on the school board the past 10 years. At, uh, around the state, I would say, but particularly Kanawha County, we had a flood down there, and lost a school, so we had to rebuild an entire school, and I was very glad to get that finally built, the Herbert Hoover High School. Um, and uh, I, I look forward to uh, running and, and meeting people across the state. I'm glad to be back in Morgantown. I was here for three years. I loved every minute of it. Um, and uh, I appreciate any support I can get from, from the residents of the county, and uh, thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for coming in, Ryan. Nice to meet you. Anybody else like to speak in public portion? Okay, seeing none, go ahead and close the com public comment section. Colleen Coons, 
Commission Office Manager Grants. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I have for fiscal year 2023 a Homeland Security Grant Program um, contract award. It is in the amount of $14,500 and it's for sh shelving over at their new warehouse. So I will need you to sign that and the certification regarding lobbying. Move to approve the uh, president signing the grant documents as requested. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Colleen. Okay. Next item on the agenda is opening responses regarding RFP 2024 MCC002 for janitorial support services to the Montegalia County Commission. Um, the received proposals, the due date and time was today at 10 o'clock. And the received proposals are here in front of me. I believe one of them separated their cost proposals, so there should be a technical proposal and a separate sealed cost proposal on each one of those. If uh, starting with you, Commissioner Arnett, if you would um, indicate who, who provided the proposal on the outside of the envelope and then confirm that they've provided a technical and cost proposal gotcha. inside. Received from uh, Bucket Ladies LLC, 312 Fair Chance Road in Morgantown. And um, I will open it now. We appear to have two envelopes. Uh, I assume they're as indicated, one for the technical and one for the bid. So um, okay. should we open them to confirm or just? No, the, the cost proposal won't be opened right, until after we do the technical evaluations, but we just need to confirm receipt. Yes. Uh, the next step is we'll, we'll take that and start the evaluation process. Commissioner Bloom? Yes, I received from Patent Building Services, Morgantown, West Virginia, and they have all the information that is needed. Okay, and I believe this is their cost proposal, yes. which they sealed separately. So. Ooh, sorry. Okay, so we have two responses uh, with the commission's approval. We'll go ahead and uh, proceed on to the technical evaluation stage and then once we get uh, have a, uh, a compilation of all the technical scores we'll come back to the Commission and we'll open up the cost proposals in uh, another meeting and then we should have our uh, uh, potential offer that we would select. Do we need to entertain a formal motion to proceed? Sure, that would be fine. We'd move to proceed with the technical evaluation so we can proceed with the, with the uh, process. Okay. Second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Is there anything else to add? Okay. Thank you. Correspondence. <laughs> okay. Unfinished business. New business. <laughs> All right. We're you rolling picked a good along day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, reports from elected officials or and or uh, department supervisors all right mayor lewis all right um as i had previously reported and as advertised in the paper we were to open bids last evening at our council meeting for the traffic signals on university town center drive there was a technical and it issue at potesta last week and the um the there were a couple bidders that sent some questions to Potesta that they did not receive. So late on Thursday evening, early Friday, or early Thursday evening, late Friday, or Thursday evening, Potesta called and asked if we could just do an addendum mm -hmm. and extend the bid to open on our next council meeting. And rather than start over from <laughs> the beginning, we decided to do that because it wasn't the fault of any of the potential bidders. They wouldn't have enough time to to get a bid in. And just to clarify, uh, Mayor Potesta is doing your. Uh, they are our engineer. Yeah, right? who is doing the evaluation yes. for you, so yes. they're not an offer. Yes, Joe Dinkle is a senior uh, engineer with Potesta, and he is our engineer of record. Okay. Well, thanks for the update. I'm, I'll be excited to uh, move. Me move too. forward on that as Me many too. times as <laughs> I pull a long time. <laughs> as many times as I pull in and out of the University Town Center POC I, every time I do it's like we got to get this done so same thing with chick we're always there <laughs> <laughs> anyone else Good morning Good morning morning Good morning Alex just a couple things for you this morning. Hey, Alex, for the record, would you say who oh, you yeah, are? Yeah. So we know. <laughs> I'm a patrol officer for the county. I always forget that. 
Um, so just kind of to keep you guys in the loop of what's going on over across the river. Um, yesterday, the health department came by, trained everybody in the use of Narcan. So it's going to be used or placed in all of our trucks now just because those guys are out there dealing with things. If they come into contact with something, at least they can be part of their own rescue um, until EMS can get there. Uh, <clears throat> between this week and next week, Chris is going to be working on their truck, um, plan on releasing them out to start picking the road on March 18th. That's a Monday, weather dependent, no more snow. Um, that's kind of the plan. Last week, beginning of last week, uh, I sent out a reminder to everybody about the <coughs> court order community service opportunity that we approved last year. We only had two participants last year before the picking season was over just because of getting the word out and kind of ironing out the details but hoping to get a lot more this year um, more so for the public's knowledge over the last probably month I've received well over 30 phone calls about people not getting their trash picked up um, from various services those are all public service commission things I really have no control over the, who picks up the trash and when they pick it up um, but they can call me and I'll give them the number and kind of forward them along to the Public Service Commission. Um, yesterday slash today, we got our budget proposal submitted. Renee has kind of helped me figure out a couple of things I messed up since this is my first time, but we're getting there. It's almost done. Um, over the next few weeks, uh, Scott and Daryl and his folks are going to be up at the office um, kind of repainting some of the walls. It started raining in there last week because of the window seals, mm -hmm. so they're replacing some of those, but they'll be up there. Um, and then lastly, there are a couple ideas I have about um, the abandoned dilapidated properties. I kind of want to sit down, maybe like in a work session or something with you all, just to see what direction we kind of want to take to bring the board back together um, using our current ordinance, just to make sure we're adequately handling these in a timely manner, because we've had some issues since really the height of COVID of kind of getting everybody in one room um, and moving forward on those. But unless you guys have any questions, it's all I have. For you. I do have one quick yes, question. Sir. We get those calls too about trash service in the county because mm -hmm. people think the county commission executes those contracts. Could you forward us the contact information that we should push them yeah. to yeah, at the Public Service Commission? Absolutely. So we'll do. Thank you. Right. Thank, you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Go to uh, reports from the county commissioners. Tom? Yeah, first, uh, Mr. White, I do really appreciate you coming up from Charleston. We don't usually get too many individuals that come south of Exit 99. So we're very appreciative that you're up here and being seen, and, and, and we do appreciate your comments. I mean, it is really important that we all work together. So hopefully we will see what happens, but I do appreciate you coming up here. Um, second, on Saturday, uh, Empty Bowls was restarted i think it was three years ago that it had stopped due to covid sean and i were there as host um and it was exceptional i, I really want to say it probably epitomizes what's best of our county when everyone comes together and volunteers from the soup to the kitchen to the workers um the people were happy and um it was a steady flow i think the the best thing i could say is everyone had plenty of soup and you could go as many times as you wanted and you didn't have to wait. So again, great job to Mike and Tammy Miller who co-organized it and hopefully this will just continue to grow, but had a great time there. Um, finally, here we go. Normally I don't discuss bills being debated at the legislature, but the bill just passed by the House, House Bill 5105, and heading to the Senate is so egregious and could have enormous consequences to our county and to our state, I must speak on it. The House passed a bill that expands removing vaccine requirements, not only from parochial schools, but now will include public schools if they cite religious reasons. As a guidance counselor who worked with collecting vaccine requirements, this bill threatens all the students in public schools. Example, if the school currently has a child who is latex intolerant or has a serious peanut allergy, the school takes all possible steps to ensure the safety of that child and all other children. I'm concerned what kind of message we are sending to businesses that would want to locate in our community and in the state of West Virginia 
and how it could inf interfere with our economic growth. With the outbreak of measles right now and other diseases that were eradicated, why would we put our students at risk? It is now in front of the Senate, and I hope the senators will act accordingly and kill this bill. Everyone needs to be treated equitably. Thank you. Just uh, like to thank uh, Mayor Lewis for the update on the light. There's a group of office uh, occupants right across from uh, where that light is on the <laughs> on the Westover side of the road that call me weekly for updates. So <laughs> I appreciate that I have something now to update them with. I know it's been a long process, and yeah. we appreciate you all taking the lead on that. So that's really all I've got. Yeah. Uh, since last week's meeting, uh, last Thursday, the administrator and I had a call with the Federal Department of Transportation group based out of Charleston to start our discussions yeah. regarding our grant for the Chaplain Hill project. Um, we also had a follow up with legal counsel on a current matter. Uh, Friday, we had staff reports. It was a really busy day. We had a special work session with our insurance carrier. Uh, we had a commission lobby uh, renovations pre-bid, and then we had the broadband evaluation team meeting. So we have now, as a, the broadband team, have taken uh, taking, uh, stock of the proposals we have received. We've evaluated, we've compiled our evaluation, and now we're ready to uh, make a recommendation to the commission in regards to uh, further negotiations with a potential offeror. So uh, we'll, I'll be uh, addressing that with you guys as soon as possible. Um, Saturday, as Commissioner uh, Bloom had indicated, uh, we, we both worked empty bowls. Um, I've worked empty bowls since I've been on, actually before I was on commission, um, I filled in for Ronnie Lytle in 2016 and they asked me to they asked me to come back every year so it's really fun um it's really it's a it's about a five hour day but it goes really quickly um and to come and watch Tom, Tom dance and sing is probably worth the price of admission um but everybody there uh Man, you know are this you is trying the, to keep people away <laughs> this is oh, the first year in person in about three years so yeah. it's going to take yeah. time to get the crowd back and we had a we had a little bit of a snow squall on saturday right. which probably kept people away but um as tom indicated you know tam tammy and mike miller the first when i first got there on friday or saturday i asked mike i said mike you've got a reprieve COVID canceled you're in person why'd you <laughs> why did you come back you're just a sucker for punishment but him and uh, mike and tammy have kept us gone over through the years and they did a wonderful job we were so st overstaffed with volunteers yeah no, that never happens um i mean we have plenty of volunteers uh so the volunteers are back Mm -hmm. uh, the organization is back, and all we needed is uh, eventually as people get used to it to be on their schedule and start coming back. But uh, I do want to thank Mike and Tammy, the whole board, and all the volunteers that came out to work that um, um, that event. It was r really wonderful on a on a snowy Saturday morning. Um, Monday, I had uh, my extension service committee meeting. Uh, yesterday, uh, the administrator and I had our call with uh, our HR. Uh, so we're, we're, f we're, we're finally finalizing just a few little things in our handbook. Today's a regular day. Uh, tomorrow, the administrator and I meet with the MMPO director, and then Friday, we have staff reports. So uh, everything's fairly busy. Uh, Ryan, I do appreciate anybody that puts uh, <laughs> Uh, puts themselves on the line to go out there and run for public office. It's not, it's not an easy thing to do. It's an impact to you, to your family, and I really appreciate good people coming up and stepping up to run. So thank you. It's very nice meeting you, and, uh, you know, keep in touch. So that's all I all And, Mayor, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I want to see this project moving forward. So once you start getting into the details, uh, we get back together between you and uh, the developer. Uh, and the commission to get this thing moving forward. I'd really appreciate it. And, and thank you, Tom. I always appreciate your passionate, uh, your passionate comments regarding every, anything. So thank you. Thank both of you. That's all I have. I'll entertain a motion. Move to, to adjourn. adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 We're adjourned. <laughs>